So, today, I'm going to be making, or starting, on 10 knives. We've got a healthy amount of 410 stainless steel and W2 for sand mine. A healthy amount of Damascus steel. And some AEBL stainless steel. I've got four distinct patterns to follow for these ten knives. This is probably going to be one of the most fun orders I've ever had. Just because, even though it's ten knives, there is still a surprising amount of variety. So without further ado, let's light the forge, clean off the Damascus, and get everything heating up. While I was cleaning the 15 and 20 and 1095 for the Damascus steel, I put the 410 stainless steel in the forge to heat up. After I'd fully cleaned the pieces, I welded them together so they wouldn't fly apart while I was forge welding them. With that done, I worked down each of the pieces of steel in turn, making them long, narrow bars. I never use flux when I forge weld my Damascus. Well, not anymore at least. If you keep the steel cool enough and compress the layers, oxidation won't have time to form between them. I attempted to create a W pattern with this Damascus by hammering on the corners, but I didn't re-square it right, so it didn't work out. After that, the, uh first part of the forging was done. And so, we've got two stainless sand my billets that after I clean them up will be completely welded around the outside because stainless hates me. And this lovely stack of Damascus layers. I started off with 20, made a W pattern, and now I've stacked it up another 10 times. You may ask your screen, Caleb, why is this top one so small? I don't have an answer for you. As for the smaller piece of Damascus deal, I didn't end up cleaning it or using it in the final stack. It just would have caused problems.
I took the Damascus steel over to the vise to give it a few good twists and make the pattern a lot more interesting. After nearly letting a hot piece of steel fall onto my fingers, I flattened out the stainless sandmai billets and called it a night. And voila! And if you haven't noticed, the video quality has dropped significantly because it's dark outside. So, I have forged the two stainless steel sand mines. I've got the bar of twist Damascus steel fully twisted, and that just needs to be forged down into a bar before I can make the knives out of it. And here's the AEBL I'll be using for some of the other kitchen knives. And that's it. I've got all the steel I need here, assuming the stainless steel sand mine has welded well, which, uh, is quite an assumption. Well, that's day one. <laughs>